So a couple of weeks ago, I noticed my RTX 3080 from HP is getting a little bit higher on temperature. So I decided to do some modifications and improve things. And I'm going to show you how this is done. Hey guys, welcome back to Harvest's channel. My name is Ivan and today we're going to be looking at how to improve the temperature of RTX 3080, the one that it's made for HP by Foxconn. It's slightly different than all the other PCBs that I've seen so far. It's definitely different than the FE version, uh, but the temperature of the memory was quite high and I really wanted to see what can I improve and maybe repaste and repad the memory. Uh, so I can see uh, if I'm gonna drop any of those temperatures down and obviously that's not the card <laughs> That's an old GTX 1660, but I just put it right here for reference But yeah, I'm gonna show you in details what exactly I did how I disassembled the whole card how I applied my thermal pads I repasted the GPU and the results are great actually the temperature on the memory dropped 20 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the GPU dropped by another 10% after I use my own thermal paste. Uh, so the results are great. And if you're not afraid to do this kind of modification on your own and maybe your card is now or computer is uh, out of warranty, uh, so go ahead and do it. I promise you it will be uh, very beneficial for your GPU. So let me roll in the video and you're gonna see the details. So what I'm gonna use here is uh, my trusty Xiaomi screwdriver. I have a couple of thermal pads here. We'll see what's needed. Uh, both of them need to be cut. This is pre-cut, but it's kind of small. This one is not cut at all. Uh, that's millimeter and a half. That's a millimeter, I think. We'll see uh, what I can use of these. Uh, so just recently noticed that the temperature of the memory is very high and the difference between the core and the memory was quite big. This one was running close to 110 degrees memory. So I just uh, wanted to see what can I improve here and see if I can add some thermal pads. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the screws. First one, I'm gonna remove the shroud and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and remove the back plate as well. These are quite tight. So if you have the same graphics card, uh, be careful when you're applying pressure. Uh, by the way, this is uh, from a hard drive caddy and i'm using it for my screws as compartments so there's three more screws on the bottom here one two three there was two on the top and hopefully after that we'll be able to remove the top shroud so now the shroud is loose so yeah that's uh we have the three fans and the shroud here and you can see this one is actually quite good when it comes to the cooling solution we have four beefy uh, copper heat pipes, um, a lot of surface to exhaust the heat, uh, but um, yeah, we'll see what can we improve here once I remove the back plate. So on the back plate, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, quite a few screws. So first one, I'm gonna remove the back plate screws and then I'm gonna remove the ones that hold the cooling solution uh, that way it's not gonna go out of place. Hopefully these are all gonna be easy to remove and I'm going to place them in the same order onto the side. Quite a long screws. So if you have a powered screwdriver, might be a good option. Now, of course, this uh, graphics card should be out of warranty by now for me. So if you're not uh, sure about all that work, if you're not sure what to do or you don't wanna violate your warranty, maybe, don't do that. But for me, lowering the temperature is definitely viable and I know what I'm doing, so it should be good. Now I'm gonna use the opportunity to repaste this graphics card as well. Now, if you're doing the same thing, I advise strongly for you to do it as well, uh, just because over a year or two, if you're using it constantly, that paste, that stock paste is probably hardened and it will be much better for you to uh, renew it with something nice. I'm sure it will be better than anything else. So here's the back plate. Like I mentioned into my initial video, this is all metal. And uh, unfortunately, right here, we don't have anything on the back side of the PCB. So my plan is actually to put some thermal pads right here so they can con contact directly with this uh, part of the graphics card. Uh, and that way the heat will uh, dissipate uh, onto the back side. I will place some 
right here on top of the die as well so we'll see how that's going to affect uh, the temperatures but like as mentioned uh, so far uh, they're not good and i'd rather have better temps so i'm going to unscrew now these on a x or diagonal motion that way you're distributing the pressure evenly and again i'm putting them on the same order off to the side and this gpu is made by foxconn for hp so you'll see the pcb is slightly different than the fe1 it's more rectangular doesn't have that cutout uh, so now let's see oh it takes it fell completely off even with me without me putting any effort um, and uh, yeah you will see that the paste is kind of hard on top uh, that looks like a small vapor chamber in the four pipes quite potent uh, but now i'm gonna take this uh, metal plate and see uh, what kind of thermal pads we have on the memory and of course i'm gonna lay uh, some of mine on top of that so after i remove uh, the cooling solution i remove the brace uh, which is kind of a top metal plate that sits on top of the pcb and this is how the pcb looks with the good old ga 102 200 right there um, and you see uh, there's pre-applied thermal pads but they're not that good so i'm going to replace them with this uh, better one i have uh, and hopefully we're going to lower down the temperatures uh, but uh, yeah first i'm going to peel off uh, the ones that are already here and i'm going to apply as many as, as i can around the pcb that way uh, we can kind of uh, dissipate the heat a little bit better uh, from the pcb to the metal uh, parts of the card i already cleaned up this uh, cooling solution and the dye uh, with some alcohol uh, so yeah let's uh, go ahead and remove uh, these thermal pads uh, by the way use plastic tools something like this uh, toothpick <laughs> which i'm using for this specific task because it's plastic it's not going to damage uh, any of your components and this is the stock thermal pad you'll see how it's brittle it's pretty thin it ripped up completely so i'm gonna have to uh, use mine i'm gonna cut base on the stock width and length and that way i'm gonna have pads ready to stick over the memory modules so just grab my little scissors and i'm gonna go around and cut this uh, specific length let's see how long i need to be so up to here so once i cut one piece i'm gonna go ahead and cut another one that it's similar to this one and there we go we have a fresh new thermal pad on this side i'm going to do the same around for the other uh, modules and of course i'm going to do the same for these smaller ones that are sitting on the vrms and the rest of the components make sure you clean up the old one as you don't need it and even use some alcohol to clean up the spot for a better contact here and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side i'm going to use one of these they're already cut as a measure to see how long i need to cut again for the opposite uh, modules and these are of course one gigabyte uh, memory uh, chips uh, we got four on the side and four eight and then one on top one on the bottom for a total of ten we're so going ahead and cutting this piece as well just remember be patient and diligent and you're not gonna have any problems patience pays off as always just take your time and do it slowly and we have the second one right on the top now i'm gonna cut two more from the bottom and the top and uh, let me remove these from here i wish they used the better thermal pads but i think these early days these companies didn't care too much and you were getting a lot of those early cards they were initially released were getting a lot of uh, problems uh, yeah i just actually recently noticed the problems because uh, until this point uh, i didn't pay too much attention into the memory i was just enjoying uh, gameplay and the graphics card but uh, 110 degrees on the memory seems like uh, it's a bit too much again make sure you peel off all the plastic from your thermal pads you don't want that plastic to be interfering you with your cooling all right now with all the memory modules covered uh, i'm going to have two smaller strips you will see right here that are contacting with the vrms i'm going to cut these off and place them on as well so that way i'm going to replace everything and then on the back side once we put uh, the top plate uh, i'm going to 
uh, put some more to provide uh, better contact with the back plate. Now these will be a little bit tricky because they're very thin. And let me see, I'm not gonna be able to cover it this way. And this way I can do it. So about this much. Make sure you have uh, a scissors that can cut pretty precisely. <laughs> not like mine, they're not the best, but they will do the job. So now that I have the piece ready, I'm just gonna peel off the old one from here and clean it up. This one is a little bit trickier, but I managed to do it. And again, removing the plastic protective film that it's lying on top of it. And now I have only one left on this side, which uh, I'm going to cut as well about this long. Let's see right here. Last piece. There we go. And now we are good to go with installing the metal plate on top of it again. I'm just uh, going to gently lift it up and kind of measure, make sure it matches everything and I'm gonna place it on the spot. So with the metal front plate or brace installed, now we have complete access to the die. I'm gonna repaste it, uh, clean it one more time actually, just to make sure that it's completely clean with some uh, al rubbing alcohol, of course, and some uh, paper towels, kitchen paper towels, because they don't leave uh, any lint. Make sure it's very clean. And for this one, I'm going to use a MX4 because this is what I have currently over here. Put some on top and I'm going to spread it around with a little uh, plastic spatula. If you don't have, you can use a plastic bag in your finger or you can use uh, even uh, like an old uh, credit card. Again, be very patient. Spread around, even if the thermal paste goes outside as much as the surrounding components, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, just remember, it's not conductive, so it's not really a bad mistake if you spill some on the side. So now I'm going to uh, attach my cables before I flip this around, because it's gonna be very hard uh, after that. All right, so it's time to place that back on, turn it around and screw it in place. I'm gonna flip it around. So now here in the back side, as there's nothing placed over the memory module. So I'm gonna place some of those thermal pads so they can contact here. And this one is the thinner one, which is still gonna be better than not having any thermal pads. All right, so now with thermal pads on the back side as well, you'll see covering the VRM, the memory modules and the die in the middle. I'm gonna uh, put the back plate on and screw it on. Uh, make sure everything is in place. So uh, before that, actually, I can go ahead and place uh, these screws for holding the cooling solution and screw them on. Make sure we are applying even distribution of force across all these screws, stop when the bolt or the screw stops rotating and you're not gonna have any problems. All right, so uh, from here, the last piece is just placing the uh, back plate on, line it up and we can start with these outside screws, tension ones, and then I'm gonna place all the other ones where they belong. All right, so back plate is on and now the final touch is putting the shroud and screwing it in place. Overall, I have to say, uh, pretty easy mod. Unlike the Founders Edition cards, this one is a lot easier to disassemble, or repaste and do all that stuff. Uh, with the FEs, normally we have a lot more screws and a lot more smaller ones that can be problematic. But with this one, it's easy. So this is it. The whole process takes no more than 30 minutes. Uh, if you're, even if you're the most patient one like myself, make sure everything is done correctly. Do all the repasting, do all the repadding. Uh, and uh, hopefully we're gonna see some good results, which you're going to see on your screens in a couple of moments. I'm gonna run some tests and see how this uh, mod affected our performance and uh, if the temperature dropped significantly, which I'm expecting it to be. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the test results. And of course, at the end, we're gonna talk about it in the conclusion. So super easy, just like that. You guys see with a little patience, with a very good thermal paste and good thermal pads, we can drop down the temperatures of the RTX 3080 
by 20 degrees Celsius on the memory and uh, probably another 1015 on the core so i definitely recommend this kind of mod again if you're not afraid if you're okay with losing your warranty if your card is still in warranty if it's out of warranty obviously you can go ahead and do it uh, no problem for me personally it's definitely worth it temperature drop is significant and i absolutely love the results so yeah that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new check out the link in the description below if you want to support the channel directly it helps me tremendously to bring you videos like that daily and as always guys you have a wonderful day